Welcome back to JLW2 Gaming. I'll be your host, host Blue Buzz, and uh, yeah, this is going to be an interesting episode. We're going to cover a little bit of Admiralty and a bunch more. We'll see you in there. In this mission, I stopped doing the mission. I found the first planet, scanned it, and was going on to the next one when I noticed something. I noticed the USS Sally Ride. If you look over here to this side, this is from the Naranda system. They put this in the game a little while ago. We're going to fly over here to the Naranda system because we are so close. And you can see the USS Sally Ride on your screen. This is a ship that we are going to pick up. It is an Admiralty card ship. It just disappeared for some reason, but I think it's still there. This is an Admiralty card. You cannot fly this ship. But since we are here, we are going to pick this ship up. And there it is. When we do the Hail the USS Sally ride, when we open up our doffing at 11, which is in two levels, what we will also have is Admiralty. We don't get Admiralty until level 50s. But it's always nice to have ships to use for Admiralty. Every ship we get, every new level that we get a new ship and everything else all goes into Admiralty. Every ship that you acquire in the game goes into Admiralty. But there are things like Admiralty cards. And that's what this is. So what we're going to do is hail the USS Sally Ride. And acknowledge. Bang. We have the USS Sally Ride. We never have to come back here and do this again on this tune. You have to come here for every tune to get the Sally Ride for Admiralty. Now we can move on with our mission. In the Gamma Erdrin system, whatever, Eridon system, we just survived an ambush from Nausicans, which is no big deal. But there is some stuff over here to scan. So... I figured we'd fly over here, and it's the same as on ground. And we scan those and take them up and over, and we get the Vertigon, Vertigon pot it calls. Ah, can't talk tonight. And then we come over here to this one, and we'll do the same thing. And scan. And then we'll check to make sure that this area is clean. And it is. There's no beam pointing in a direction. So now that we are done with this, for a long mission, and quite frankly, it's New Romulus. Has all the feeling of New Romulus, and it's a prime example of why no one likes New Romulus. I can't say that. Why a very select few like New Romulus. But yeah, it is very long uh, for what it needed to be. Now, we have some new items and we have a mission that we have completed. So let's turn in the mission Good work. I knew and collect our reward. Do we want cannons or be plasma dual beam banks? I'm going to go with beam banks. So that gives us... A whole bunch more stuff and some more levels so now that opened up the next level here the question is targeting expertise okay targeting expertise defensive maneuvering which are both good drain expertise which we're not a science control expertise we're not science impulse expertise or electro system plasma flow. What I'm going to say is going to surprise a lot of people. But as you're fighting, your weapon power drains because we don't have enough weapon system power flow, EPS. So I'm going to say let's take the electro system plasma flow. Now, let's see what do we got here. We'll go to our character. Let's see what 
this armor is like. I'm going to say the armor we're running is better than what we got here. This one does give us a little bit more energy damage, though. But our survivability goes down. If we're dead, we can't do anything. So, let's see. She doesn't have any armor whatsoever, so we'll give her some armor. Now, she doesn't have very many heals, so we'll give her some heals. We'll give her one of those. And shields. Our shields compared to the other shields. I would say that's pretty freaking the same. So, let's see who's got shields and who doesn't. He has shields, but they're low level. He has shields. He has shields. They all have shields. I'm sorry, she. They all have shields. Which ones are more important? Healers, of course. Seeing as how he got the better armor, I'll give her the shield. And we will right click, discard this. We'll go back to the ship. Drop that right there. Discard this. And then we're going to go back to our ship again. And put this on here. That just bound it to us. This is a level 1 dual beam bank. We're going to keep it around just in case we might need it. Now this council is something we've been looking for. This gives us more damage straight out. It's a beam weapon council. It's not the greatest, but it's what we got. And it just increased our damage. So let's look here. Can we beam up? Yes, we can. Let's beam up. And now that, of course, it doesn't actually put us anywhere we need to be. Okay, so let's purchase some skills, because we still have a ground skill to go. Weapon criticals, weapons expert, or weapons penetration. We're going to go with weapons expert. So we can't actually look at our stats. We can, but they're not right, because we're out in sector space. And, but just from this, if we hover over our weapons, it says 281.3, 225 DPS. We drop this on, let's see if it changes. 281, <laughs> no, because it's not right. But it should increase our beam weapon damage. And these are both beams, this is a turret, but let's see if we got enough to get this in here yet. And we do. Okay, so this we can discard. We're going to keep that torpedo and that dual beam bank. Same as our uh, beam fire at will. Okay, one of the other things we got is a, a promotion to Centurion. So let's click on the promotion. And what does it say? Congratulations, blah, blah, blah. Return, return to New Ramius. We'd like you to formally recognize your contribution to the Republic. This mission will provide access to a free ship. Funny. Okay. So we're going to head back and get a free ship. Here's the deal. Because we don't have access to New Romulus yet because we just found the planet to establish New Romulus. Um, we're going to go with this managed ship guy here. And nope, he's not going to let us get a new one. Maybe one of these guys. Cause, cause I don't understand why it tells you to go to New Romulus Command. There is no New Romulus yet. They really need to get into the habit of actually making this viable. I mean, don't get me wrong, the game is fun, all this, but they do this constantly. Get a new starship. There we go. So, let's see, what shall we choose? This one's a Zen ship. We have one ship available to us. 
right now. One. So we are getting the Delon, Delon Warbird. So here we go. Upgrade. And the promotion does not go away. Lovely. Let's run back over here. And I think it's this guy over here. I guess I could have just ran straight across. But let's see here. Okay, so we have weapons that we can take off of here. We have all kinds of good stuff here. Let's see what we got. Okay, so right off the bat, let's say we're going to deal with weapons. And this is what we have for weapons. So we click on this. We are going to want weapons across the nose. And this is a small maneuverable ship. So that's a good thing. We should be able to put a dual beam bank on here. A dual beam bank on here. And a dual beam bank on here. Which is really good. And then we can take our beam and put it down here. Now, I'm going to say let's discard these torpedoes. And this beam will keep. We could, let's look at this. 195, 156. It's a little bit better than a single beam. <coughs> so, we'll go with this for now. But, this will all probably change in the future. Now, we go back to our other ship. We pull all this good stuff off. We can just pull these off because we don't have anything else to go there. Same with these councils. We don't have anything else to do there. So, we put this one on here and we put this one on here. Anyhow, so now let's look at this. Starship control expertise, drain expertise, and perception. Control expertise, drain expertise, and perception. 555, 755. That's kind of a no-brainer. Let's see here. Uh, five and shield power based. 5 to 15 shield power based on my singularity core and what's the speed 5.56 this one just gives 5.56 kind of a no-brainer what do we got here 11.8 flight speed 19.5 turn rate 10 so that is already it's better 19.5 turn rate 71 exactly the same a little bit better stats. Shield. 2,945 shield capacity. Other than this one reduces a little disruptor damage. I don't know who we're going to be fighting with disruptor, but there we go. So then we go back down here. Put uh, these back on this ship. And we're going to actually use this ship as a staging ground. Now, if we go back up here to this ship, we hit Ready Starship. And what did it do? You've got to be free. It already doesn't like what I'm doing. Surprise, surprise. See, make sure everything else stayed, and it did. Okay, manage ships.
All right, so we're missing two councils, a science council and a tactical council. We'll see what we can do here in a minute. Let's look at our episodes. We're all the way down in our episodes. This one gave us a tactical council. It's really long, really boring. Let's see what turning point's going to give us. And an allegiance reward and an allegiance costume. So we have our promotion, which is I don't think is ever going to go away because we didn't go to New Romulus, of course. And our mission journal. So let's see what our last one. We know the new one that's coming up isn't good. So let's see if we can replay this one and what the rewards are going to be. I know it's really long, really boring, but it gives me another one of those. And I don't need an exotic particle generator. All damage resistance. I'm probably going to have to replay this mission. So it is what it is. I'm going to replay Search for New Romulus. After being jumped by, jumped by the Nausicans, I figured out I never set up this ship or showed you anything about it. So, we have two different singularity fun functions now. This one's a heal and a shield regen. This one is damage. This is the original one that we had when we started. So, we have basically gained a heal as it goes up because we'll use damage as we can but it's more useful to us as a heal right now at low level. They did give us another bridge officer slot, which we have to set up. So we can actually run beam fire at will one and two, which is what we are going to do. We're going to go back to here and we're going to put our heal back on and we have a shield heal now. And that is fine with me. I can definitely use more heals. At low level it but this is how we're gonna run it we also have attack pattern alpha now which is a my a captain trait for being tactical this is a very good all damage buff just scrolling through here to make sure there isn't anything else that we got that didn't populate our bar but it appears that this is it which is a good thing and we're going to move this over here. We're going to take these two off because it's right here. I don't need them on my bar. And we're going to move these two over here. This one there. So now everything's separated nicely so I can get at it. As we get more, we'll get into other things that will make our DPS go up even higher. But for now, just clicking it works just fine there is no major deal I mean you can see if one of your things is gone but yeah if you watch on beam fire at will you click that this one's at 2918 so you'll be able to go get this up faster at low level with two copies which is why I say to do it the longer you can have beam fire will up the better now, as for our ship, it's still sitting exactly the way we left it. No loadouts, no visuals. Skills, we don't have any extras to spend. Traits, oh, they did give us another trait, which is something else we missed. So, for personal ground traits, what would we take? I'm going to say aggressive, which is increased damage and threat. Five bonus all damage and threat generation. Apparently I can't do that in space or in the middle of a mission. So as soon as I get out of here, I'll start this back up and we'll do traits. Okay, we just transwarped out of the system, or not transwarped, but got out of the system, departed, and we'll go with aggressive. And for space traits, this is going to be a tough one. We're already running beam training. Crippling fire, 
Now, elusive, decreasing our defenses is a good one. Innocuous is a good one. Crit severity, crit generation. Or crit severity and... Uh, and threat generation. So, I am going to go with... Hmm... It's either innocuous, fleet coordinator, elusive, or crippling fire. And right now, oh, I could go with accurate. Actually, I am. I'm going to go with accurate. The reason I'm going to go with accurate is because beam fire at will decreases your accuracy. So you actually, when you're running beam fire at will, it will actually drop your accuracy down every time you click it. It goes right back up as soon as it's done, but it does do that. So a little bit more accuracy means I hit more, means more damage on my targets. After running it a second time, we now have another tactical council. We could have an engineering council, personal shield. The tactical council is by far the most useful. We could have another dual beam bank. I'm not going to run this thing all day. It's too long and way too boring. So I'm going to collect this reward. And we picked up this shield from killing some Tholians. We'll compare it to what we got. Let's see here. Nope. Not any better. But we do have two tactical councils now. Five and 7.5. I'm not saying these are the best things, but they're what we got. So that gives us some more output. And let's see here. We picked up another heal. We can give that to Toven. We can right click, discard, which will give us a little bit more EC. And we are going to move on to turning point. Okay, the time has come. We need to choose an ally. We already told you what I was going to do, but this is the screen. Starfleet Explorer Stars defends United Federation planets. Klingon Defense Force represents military might of the Klingon Empire. We are taking Starfleet because more people, more people play Starfleet at this point in time. So, choose Starfleet or KDF. And that is the end of that. Turning point, open mission journal, and we will collect this. Continue. Which puts us at another level. And they keep throwing stuff at us. We'll accept this. Okay, these are duty officers. It opened up all this stuff for us. And we have more skill points to buy. So, let's close this up. Let's close these. And it starts. We'll accept some of these, but we probably won't do them. Now... Skill points, we got one more space point. We're going to put it into improvised or improved EPS flow. Mainly because I'm still seeing power drain on my weapons. And as long as I see power drain on my weapons, I will keep trying to get EPS flow. Now we did get something really nice here. And that's a plasma infuser. And we are going to put it to work right away because we are running plasma weapons and in a plasma infuser gives us plasma damage. A little bit more than this. We're going to keep this around just in case when we get another ship if we need it. But we're putting plasma on here. Next thing we got, it looks like, is a new phaser sniper rifle. I'm not a big fan of sniper rifles, but it is a Mark IV. 
So, I'm probably going to run the sniper rifle. Hyven is going to get the rifle I was running. And then we got a photon torpedo, which we really don't need. We got a phaser beam, which we're probably not going to run. We have a higher level weapon, so we'll give her the higher level weapon. And that is everybody has higher level weapons than this, so I can discard this. I will take this level one weapon to replace this. We can discard this one. Now, shield. This shield is better than what I'm running. So I will take that and I will give this shield to Hyven. This is our junk normal shield. I think everybody has better shields than that or the same. So we can discard this. We are not going to run cannons. So these two cannons that we picked up during this mission, I can discard and discard, giving us more EC. As you notice, we're at 6,000 EC. We did pick up a bridge officer. We have no place for him. So what I'm going to do is right click and move him to candidate roster. Is it a him? It's a cadet Rigelian male, so it is a him. But I'm gonna move him to candidate roster. And where that is, is under stations, show, he is there. So, with those being out of the way and the upgrades being out of the way, Hmm. Anything else that I am missing? Oh, duty officers. Okay, since we did get some duty officers, we are going to start doing duty officer missions. And for some reason, it's not showing me any. Ah, oh, there we go. Where is our roster? We have none. It just showed that we got a whole bunch of them. Okay, maybe not yet. Beneath the skin, nope. Huh, apparently we didn't get them. <laughs> Even though it just showed that we did and it unlocked them. Okay, well, we are going to beam up and because we did choose the Federation, and as far as I know, New Romulus is not here yet. Let's look on the map. Oh, New Romulus is here. Let's go to New Romulus real quick. Okay, after watching long and boring non-skippable cutscenes, we are on New Romulus. And I believe, yes, the Admiral for this mission promotion is over here so we'll talk to him and get our promotion going I have nothing for you right before the hope is it soon became the Republic go on true or not <laughs> I figured that was gonna stay talk to Admiral Couric. mm-hmm so let's hide this one because we're never going to complete it, obviously. <laughs> oh, wait, go to Shuttle Bay. Okay. So it did open it up. But we are going to... It is Christmas. Not really, but it is Christmas in Stowe. And we will be talking to Q here in a little bit. So... That is what we are up to next. We will hold off on the missions and be doing some Winter Wonderland stuff, which will help us out because there is a free T6 ship involved. It takes about 20 days to get it, but it is there. 
So give us a few minutes to turn in stuff. Okay, we turned in that mission and didn't get us a whole lot, as you can see. Now we are going to go to Q's Winter Wonderland. We'd like to visit the Winter Wonderland. And poof, we are off. If you read here, that is the ship that they are giving away. A Feklari Dreadnought Carrier. And we are now here. Let's see, so when we open up our... Ooh, they changed it, I forgot. Events, Seasonal Winter, we have this. Now, the way I know to do it, I know they've changed it. I'm going to do it the old way because it's what I know. And I haven't got into it so far. Seems how this is the very first day of the Winter Wonderland, which is why I decided to level all the way to 11. So what we are going to do is we are going to run this race over here. And I'm not going to explain all of this stuff to you in the Winter Wonderland. I'll let you discover it for yourself. It's just a giant area with a whole bunch of stuff to do. You can't die. Snowmen attack you. It's a lot of fun. I suggest playing it. But I'm going to run this race. And I will be back. Okay, we have ran the race and we are back here to the Breen Race Coordinator. And we will turn this in, get a little experience, get some event progress, and a Vulcan Meditation Incense. Now, these are very important in the winter event. You, you will see I have a uh, Terran Holiday Ornament. All this good stuff. The Vulcan Incense, there's like five of them. And basically, if you need them and you have a lot of EC and what have you, you can buy them off the exchange. Or you can run the events and get them. I recommend running the events way cheaper. <laughs> Especially when you're broke. Like we are. We are broke. Oops, refine some dilithium. But we are broke, so we are going to run some events. I am not going to show you all of this. I will just show you what we can get with them. And I plan on getting some and doing a bunch of the events. So here we go. Events, winter, event store. Now, winter event is what's going on. The summer is not going on. So what we have, this we have, none of this stuff really matters. Outfit boxes, no, we're broke. We can't afford outfit boxes. We want good stuff. And the good stuff that that would help us out right now will be down here at the bottom. We have Batlas. No. Nanopulse Lorpas. I am not, we are not going to be a Meteor, meteor in this one. I do know how to do it. I am not going to. But kit modules that we do not have. But they are open to us. So we cannot use engineering kit or science, but we can use tactical ones. So give me a minute here. I'm sorry about that, but I was had to cough really bad. So tactical kits is what we are looking for. Kit modules, anyhow. Microcryonic warhead, cryonic modulation, uh, microchronic warhead. No, wait, that's oh, cryo grenade. Sorry. And then the microchronic warhead. And then training manuals for our bridge officers. These are also what we are looking for in here. The warp core would be nice. The singularity core would be nice. Very expensive. Vanity shield. We're broke. We're not going for vanity. Engineering manuals for our bridge officers. These are things that are important. And frosted boots. That is a speed boost. That is important to us. 
outfit box, we are broke, as I said. But winter is the time to get this kind of stuff. So I highly encourage getting up to 10 as fast as you can, or 11, and choosing a side so you can gain access to the winter wonderland. So the next time you see us, we will have a bunch of these uh, tokens. And we will show you what we are buying and what we are doing with them. All right, that ends this episode. I uh, hope it was informative. Sorry about the cuts. Some of them couldn't be helped. Um, we Next time, I'm going to show you a little bit more about Winter Wonderland. I have had some requests for some playthrough a little bit to clarify some points. So with that being said, we shall see you next time.